I'm Lexi of Lexi Nails. I have my own studio in Las Vegas, Nevada, where I get to spend all day with my wonderful clients and create beautiful works of art, really. I really like being able to create with my clients and everyone else in their dynamics. And I am in um, a studio, so there are other technicians around me, so we still get to create and share our ideas, so that's pretty cool as well. I specialize in acrylic and 3D, and I get to do so much more fun stuff. And I like to see where pretty much the art industry is taking me for nail art and I'm self-taught in that aspect. But I do take a lot of classes. Continuing education is important because you can take from someone their dynamic or a technique and you can learn one style that has been taught in thousands of different ways and you can create it and make it your own. So I like to do that constantly and I like to share as much as I can and constantly help others grow and just keep pretty much building and helping others around me build in that sense as well. So I'm really happy I get to do that. It's like, if there is someone who feels like it's art, then it's art. It is, it's yeah. just you as a person, how you feel about it, your vibes and how you feel. And sometimes people will buy something because they like the person that it's coming from yeah. and it makes them feel more personable as if they're connected to them or so. So that's what creates art. That's how I look at art. Like a lot of my inspiration I take from fashion or magazines where I'm looking up a photo. So there may be another technician that, sh like there are technicians that are known for their Disney characters or they're known for their cartoons or just they're impeccable how they can do um, celebrities. I like to look at something and if it catches my eye, I like to think about it and remember how can I go back to this and create it and I'll just kind of go back to the drawing board and I might thin something down or I might start playing with something and messing around and accidentally find out a way to kind of dynamically make this work for myself. I'm like, hey, that looks really nice. If there is a photographer, like, then I can credit them. So that's how I like to go about it, is just looking for anything. If I'm, if I'm in nature, if I'm out shopping, if I'm at the mall, I will stop and snap a photo and, and go back to that later. So that's where I get my inspiration from a lot of the time is just random spots that you wouldn't really think about really getting inspiration from. What I love about Presto, and everyone knows this, I am super avid Presto user, day one. Their clear base is number one. So it is strong and durable. They have a product line that ranges from hard gels all the way to acrylics and everything else you can think of. And now there's new products coming out with, they have art liners, they have brushes. My favorite products I would have to say would be the brushes because I don't have to cut them. I used to have to cut my brushes and it would take a really long time. So I have a five, a six, and an eleven that I always refer to. But if you're a technician that can use one brush or you need 20, they have it. Oh, I have a few favorite colors at collections actually. I like using their potted gels because they're they're uh, smaller than the bottles, but they're thicker. So you can use them, they're very versatile. So I like putting them in containers and just kind of pulling them out. It's very versatile. So I like using the Tokyo Swag Collection. I refer back to that every single time. Everything I need, and they have a black and white. It's portable, and I just stop, like just keep it in something and go. And I put a few glitters and a few crystals, and it's a it's a to-go kit, ready to go. Also, the Miho Collection and um, the JC Sheer Collection. I love those. Also, I want to say red number 80 is, is a, good, a good one. 60, the black, for the white, I have to have those. Those are like, for sure, you have to have them. And then my favorite beyond the brushes and the color is matte top coat. Hands down, best matte top coat. I don't care what anyone says, like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> matte top coat. <laughs> so that's my favorite. If I have to say buy anything and you don't want to buy nothing else, buy a matte top coat, okay? That's it. Matte top coat. Oh, and mixing clear gel because it goes on and it dries with a non-sticky layer. So it just encapsulates everything. And you put your glitter, go right over the top of it or over a design and it's no longer 3D, buff it slightly, top coat it, and you're good to go. That's my favorites, top favorites. Then everything is starting to pull together now and everybody's learning and we're coming together and we're meeting up and we're actually sharing our dynamics and we're meeting new friends and we're really meeting each other. So I feel like social media is, is bridging that communication gap. Where I like showing my clients what I can offer, what products, what's on the cutting edge. They may not know that something just came out or what it is. So it's allowing my older clients and my younger clients to bridge the generational gap as well. 
So I feel like that's where it's taking us. It's taking us to the next level of just constantly being on top and staying on top of the latest trends as a whole and as a community. And that's just, that's just what it is. And it's just going to get bigger and be a bigger and bigger platform. So I look forward to seeing what it develops into and it's given everyone so many opportunities. So it's really nice. I would say never be afraid to take risks. You know, never be afraid to make friends. Never be afraid to go the extra mile for your clients and think that you did anything wrong, if that's how you feel. Everything is a learning curve. Everything is to make us better and stronger as individuals. And I would say to just keep constantly growing and better yourself. I don't think that you should ever be discouraged where you are. Where I am today is not where I was in the beginning. And I was where you are not that long ago. And you just keep practicing. Keep, keep being hungry to learn to grow as an individual and never, ever, ever settle. Never feel like you're better than anyone. Never feel like you are stuck somewhere. If you feel some type of way, just search for inspiration in other ways and just keep constantly feeling like you have it. In times, you're going to get down. I know that. I've, I've been there, already struggled through it, but you're someone, somewhere, is looking up to you. And you may not know it. You may not know that you're inspiring someone every single day. So just keep pushing and keep going and you'll be where you want to be in due time. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Thank you. Yay. Yes.